get your best pair of headphones, and let's get it. You want to be able to hear yourself back as you talk. So click the cog wheel beside your microphone, advanced audio properties. And for your microphone, just make sure you are on monitor and output. My voice may double, but I want to be able to hear myself because that's the only way you can get clarity and know how you sound. Post processing, editing Mac here. Uh, I realized while watching this video, I never showed you at all how to add in the sources that are in the description to download and actually use them. So let's do that. So you go over to your microphone, right click, make sure you're in sources, you right click and you click filters. What you're looking for, those TDR plugins and those real EQ plugins, you're going to have to click plus down at the bottom. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to add a VS2 <clears throat> times X plugin. You click OK and they will all show up here. This is where you will see everything. I have a bunch of other things showing up here because I edit music and stuff like that. But yeah, that's how you do it. And then you click them and that's how you add them in. All the other pro programs like the, oh wow, why did I go away from that? All the other programs like the noise gating things um let's remove this because i already have these things you just gonna have to click plus and it will be noise gate and noise suppressor so yeah and that's my noise suppressor that's how that looks and that's my noise gate that's how i have that so, thank you let's get back to the video go back to your microphone right click and click filters now with everything turned off with everything turned off this is how i sound you know what I'm saying? It's not really pushing me forward, but I mean, with Go XLR, you, I have an automatic, um, what's it called? I have an automatic sound gate on myself. So my background noise auto cut out because of, um, yeah, because of my Go XLR. That's what I'm hooking my mic through and yeah, stuff like that. If y'all want a video in that, trust, I got you. But anyway, let's get into this. So my very first plugin, my audio plugin is my EQ. This is what the EQ does to my voice do you hear the difference in the clarity this is the eq it's off this is the eq it's on you hear the difference and it's a real eq like i said everything will be in the description below now this is my this is how you know what i'm saying i did my sentence for bands how all the bands are and for my voice i've been doing music for like over a decade. So I've learned my voice throughout the process. And you know what I'm saying? I know that I have a very, you know what I'm saying? A deeper voice. So for me, having a deeper voice, I want to take down the deeper end of my voice and raise the highs. And well, I'm saying that I, you can literally see it. Like this is the deeper part of my voice down here. Like I said, it's on a one. If I bring it up. My voice is a little too deep. But if your voice is lighter, then I would say you raise up because everything starts as a, as a straight line. So you raise up all the way to the top. Well, not all the way to the top, but whatever sounds better for you. Like I said, I have a deep voice. So, yeah, and I keep the two the same. The two, just keep that stock right there. And the mids, the mids, you know what I'm saying? If you want to know what they do, you just over extenuate them and then do like that. Boom, over extenuate them. But that was perfect for me. And like I said, I have a deep voice. So my highs. I'm going to be higher you take the highs out your voice purely yeah but if you go too high i kind of feel like it's a hissing situation well not really it's weird i can't really explain it but yeah that is what the eq does now let's move on you can also add bands and remove bands within this software but like i said learn your voice that's the best way to do it hear yourself i'm talking right now i'm hearing myself while i'm doing it crazy irritating but yeah now next up is the compressor this is what the compressor does to my voice it makes sure I don't like peek out crazy, kill your eardrums. Like you can see where I got my suppressor set. To suppress, compressor, compresses your voice. So your highs ain't too high. So if I turn it off, my highs gonna be too high. Like I said, let's, let's wait. Okay, open it back up. Okay, there we go, boom. That's what the compressor does with your voice. I might have just opened it and left it stock. That could be what I did. Now, next one, the Slick EQ. These TDR plugins are amazing for your voice. Just watch what this does to my voice. I'm talking to you with it off. I'm talking to you with it on. You just saw what that just did to my voice. This is absolutely amazing. Shouts out to the dude whose video I watched. Literally copy this. You see what I have, copy it, 
your voice is going to be crazy. You need all of these in one. This just by itself is definitely going to make your voice sound better. And honestly, you know what? You might could just get away with this, this, but I use them all in one because I need other things taken out. And if you're not with a Go XLR like me, then you're going to need to, um, you're going to need a noise gate. So you're going to have to add in a noise gate to here. The noise gate gets rid of background noises to an extent that you want it. So let's keep on pushing. Like I said, TDR, that plug, this, yeah, this, this plugin is, is OD, OD. Now, Nova, I'm talking without Nova. I'm talking with Nova. You see the difference? Yo, 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 yo. I love what it does to my voice. It, it's kind of like the EQ. Like it's kind of like, wait, what happened? Whatever. It's kind of like the EQ in a way. Like I said, it's another dude whose video I watched and copied the settings. But yeah, like that's why I keep talking. So you guys can copy the settings. And like I said, to know what these things do, overextenuate them up, overextenuate them down. Find what's perfect for your voice. Like I said, I have a deeper voice. So when you have a deeper voice, take out, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't take out all the lows, but like even with my deeper voice and taking out most of the lows, it's still pretty deep. And go up on the highs. Whoa, what happened? Okay, right click. Go back to my properties. I'm tweaking. And I think, do I have the wider? I do have the wider. Okay, now this plug in. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Now that added a lot more clarity as well. Like I said, these TDR plugins are absolutely amazing. Yeah, this is what the TDR. I'm, I'm finna, I'm finna butcher this name, but uh. Kotelnikova, Kotelnikova, whatever. This is what the TDRK plugin does, and yeah, TDRK is wild. But yeah, <laughs> get these settings set like this, and we're going to go into the last but not least. So, last but not least, wider. Yo, yo, it kind of like spreads your voice around everything so you can see what happens when i over it. i keep mine at 25 percent. 25 percent is cool for me but if you go more then you'll be able to hear yourself kind of like this you know what i'm saying kind of sound like you know what i'm saying you dropping in from your spaceship type shit you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 yeah so I, I keep mine at 25 I keep mine at 25 25 is perfect and that's how i get my voice to sound exactly like this sure i have a short sm7b but i also have a crazy amount of other microphones i'm gonna keep those settings the same as i shuffle through microphones right now i have a five fine 30 dollar microphone video up on my channel about it you know what i'm saying get, get, get in tune loki but that's how this mic sounds with those settings i kept the noise gate just so you guys could hear it without the background hissing but without the noise gate it's kind of crazy back there i ain't gonna lie like I said, this is a $30 microphone with the exact same settings. Y'all saw how it sounded without it. With those settings, this is how it sounds. Trust me, it's the settings and knowing what to do with your voice. But you can just try the settings baseline. Like I have them, copy them, and see how it sounds. Like I said, the only difference I would make, like if you have a higher pitched voice, don't go so low on the lows. More so, probably take it up a bit. You know what I'm saying? Don't go below the line. Maybe keep it as is or go slightly above to have a kind of slighter, deeper, you know what I'm saying, undertone to your voice. But this is a five fine microphone with those exact settings. This is with nothing on the Blue Yeti. This is how it sounds. Ain't gonna lie. Ain't gonna lie. Ain't gonna lie. RP, what is that? Is this RP right here? Oh my God. But yeah, you definitely gonna need that um compress on this. Jesus Christ. All right, now let's see how this sounds with all the settings. That noise gate is essential on this microphone. But yeah, with this, okay, you're going to have to go into the compressor. You you 100%. Well, no. Go to the back. Make sure your gain is never up past like Yeah, I could teach you about this microphone cuz I had it for a while though actually down here at the microphone like you can make yourself the loudest so i would go like ah, boom 
and cap it right there. So I never really get to that, you know what I'm saying, overly loud type of situation. You feel me? But yeah. This is how the Elgato Wave 3 sounds without anything on it. Hold on. It comes with a little pop filter joint. So we might as well, you know, put that joint on now. Boom. This is how it sounds without anything on it. You can hear the background, so the noise gate. Gotta turn that on for your own sake. You know what I'm saying? Gotta turn that on. Now, let's turn on everything so you can hear how the mic sounds with all the settings. This is the Elgato Wave 3 with the exact same settings. Crazy. And you heard it with no settings on it. So let's get back to my sure SM7B. Yeah. Boom. Now that has been your boy, Matt Game 63 and I've shown you all of my settings on all these microphones. We did the Blue Yeti. We did the Fifine. I think it's a KB697. Yeah. And we did the Elgato Wave 3. I put these settings, exact same settings, didn't change anything. It's just some mics needed a noise gate, some didn't. And I showed you that it's all about the settings you have on your microphone. So this is how you can sound amazing in your YouTube videos and on stream while you streaming on Twitch and other things. Anyway, my game is 3 Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if I helped you. We out. Peace.